Did you just describe your wife as heavy set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you met her? I haven't met her, actually. Don't get married. Never have kids. Have you ever tried telling her that you think she's a rolling meatball? <sighs> Hasn't helped. You know what I think you need? Drugs. So YouTube? So, I know that a lot of you guys did end up liking the Omegle video that me and Laura had done a few days ago. So, as a little Halloween special, I decided to actually go on Omegle as the Joker. Anyways, hope you guys like the video. If you do, be sure to leave a like, sub, and comment if you want to see more of this in the future. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think you're laughing at? Yo! The gang, look at the Joker outside, gang! <laughs> Yo, Yo, the Joker outside, yeah, gang. Not a joke. Yo. Yo, Joker, where you at, bro? We about to fuck it up. Where you at? We coming to leave <laughs> you right now. Man. Where I'm at? I'm just chilling in my room. <laughs> 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 where are you guys at? <laughs> Yo, where they get that one? Yo, big up yourself, bro. You too, brother. All right, bless. Bless. <laughs> Why so skibbity? Have an ass. Look, I knew that was gonna get him tight. I knew that was gonna get him mad. Where are your face like that? Where are your face like that? Oh, <laughs> you wanna know how I got these scars, huh? Where are your face like that? Rah, rah, rah. What the fuck is that, bro? You have a problem with the way I talk now, do you? Right. Oh. Oh my god, come on, you choker. No, no, don't kill me. I'm gonna boom your ass, okay? You're gonna what? <laughs> I, I I don't think I made a joke yet. <laughs> Am I really that funny? <laughs> You're laughing, so there's gotta be something funny, Sonny! <laughs> bro, <laughs> calm down, bro. Calm down, huh? Oh, yeah, you know? Baby, baby, calm down. There was actually one time that I got told to calm down. You wanna know who told me that? Yeah, who? My father comes home from work, looks at me and says, Why are you always frowning? So he comes up to me, he grabs a kitchen knife, and he says, Why so serious? Why so serious? <laughs> I understand what you're saying, but that was, that was funny. What do you understand then? No English, bro, no English. <laughs> you speak Indian? Indian isn't even a language. That's a, that's an Indian language right? right now. What you saying right now? That's an Indian. <laughs> that that's an accent. No, it's an Indian. I'm gonna lie. <laughs> type shit, type shit. That's an Indian. Bro. Type shit. You can't just say type shit in an Indian accent and then say that that's their language. That's not Indian accent. That's in, that's Indian language. <laughs> type shit. If you're Indian, then prove you're Indian right now. Jesus <laughs> Christ, come on. <laughs> Why so... Why what? Wait! Wait what? So, wait, hold on. Hold on what? Your voice sounds familiar. Familiar? <laughs> Maybe that's because you watched the Joker. Oh yeah, probably. Might I ask who you are? I'm Batman. Batman. I'm Beaner Man. What? <laughs> You're what? I'm Beaner Man. <laughs> okay, so what's the difference between you and Batman? <laughs> I'm a Beaner. <laughs> okay, but do you guys do anything different, or do you guys still just save the world? No, nah, we got we we just build shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're saving uh the infrastructure, so that's something, right? Uh, I guess so. What uh, what else do Beaners do? I don't know. Uh, I make tacos. <laughs> Surely there's got to be something that, I don't know, maybe you have a hobby or like something that you're really good at. There's got to be something there. Nah. What are you good at? Nothing. Well, you're just sure you're the Joker. <laughs> the Joker? <laughs> I'm the Jonkler. <laughs> You're a tweaker, aren't you? <laughs>
You know, it's kind of disrespectful to be on your phone when there's someone talking to you. True. <laughs> Room, yo, why so serious? You tell me why you're so serious. I haven't been too serious, to be honest. Like, I, I feel like I've been more, I've, I've been more nonchalant than I've been serious. You know, I think I need to be a little more serious. You know, I need to start actually expressing ways in a more serious manner. Okay, be serious right now then. Okay, well, okay. What do you want me to be serious about? Like anything, just be serious right now. Okay, so I'm very serious about the new McRib making a comeback to McDonald's, even though there's an E. coli outbreak. Fuck your now. stupid fucking McRib. Be fucking serious. I'm literally gonna take that fucking McRib and start f***ing it like crazy. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> you have me speechless. Have you ever considered maybe a real woman then? Um, yeah, but I feel like they're just not the same as the McRib, you know? They're not saucy, they're not ribbed up, they're not, you know? There's no enjoyment to it. Like, I don't get the little burn from, you know, the, to, you know, the barbecue sauce in my urethra, dude! I know what you mean. How do I get that little tingle inside my... Like, where can I experience just that pure sustenance and satisfaction in my urethra without a woman, you know? Can I tell, can I tell you a story? Yeah, yeah. There was one time when I was a young boy, I think 11 years old. I liked showering. Every day I would take a shower. Okay. And then there was one day where I remember I was washing myself down there, and it started to feel a little nice. <laughs> it felt good! Now, so you, you... want to know what I did? What did you do? I took the soap and I used it as lubricant and every single time that I would the soap would go in my urethra and you know what would happen? It would burn! It would burn, Sonny! It would burn! <laughs> and you want to know what the most fucked up thing of it all is? It felt amazing! Yeah, I'd finish every one of those fucking nuts, and now I became one of the fucking nuts! Shut the fuck up, mom's gonna fucking beat you! Sorry. <laughs> dude. Alright, I, I gotta go after that. Alright, dude. You have a good night, dude. Right. Seek knowledge, huh? Wait. Yeah, seek knowledge. Wait, wait, wait. We speak again? Seek knowledge. Wait, wait, wait. Dante? <laughs> <laughs> hey, my boy Dante. What's up? Yo, you go bang, go live, bro. My what? <laughs> wait, what did you say? Oh, you heard me. You heard me loud and clear. I heard you loud and clear, huh? Well, you're gonna be hearing me loud and clear when I walk in my fucking basement and start torturing you. How old are you, bro? How old am I? Yeah. Old enough to get shit done. You gr grown ass man, bro. I'm a grown ass fucking man. You're right. A grown ass fucking man wearing fucking makeup at 10 in the fucking night. <laughs> grown ass fucking man doing this shit. What are you doing it for, bro? I don't even know anymore. I don't even fucking know anymore. Go ahead, go ahead. Hit me with a quote. Hit me with a quote. Hit with a quote? Yeah, go ahead. But I hit with a fucking two ply across the fucking base of your skull. That's not a quote, bro. <laughs> so, can I ask Shut you a the question? Fuck up. Shut up. No. Well, <laughs> can I ask you a question? Motherfucker, bitch. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you can, and your makeup is. Fantastic! <laughs> Thank you very much! Anyways, have you had something to drink tonight? Um, several. Yeah, so you'd say you're probably a bit drunk, right? Mm, yes. Yes. Do you get drunk quite often? <sighs> No. You know, I knew that was going to be your answer. And do you want to know why I knew that was going to be your answer? 
I'm loving the entertainment. This is fucking fantastic, man. Well, it's not going to be um, fantastic for much longer. Because the thing is, you're in a coma. I wouldn't be clapping if I were you. You're in a coma. It, it sounds pretty good to me, actually. Like, uh, have you met my wife? Your wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Norwegian girl, bit heavy set. <laughs> you know, <a> bit... <laughs> Wait, did you just describe your wife as heavy set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, have you met her? I haven't met her, actually. Like, about 14 stone. Like, I'm 11. Like, I'm six foot. Well, I'm not six foot. I lied. I'm five foot eleven. She's about five foot two. She is fucking Kato's massive heavier than me. And does that make you feel bad? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> uh, struggle to be intimate, definitely. So you're telling me <sighs> that because your wife is morbidly obese. That it's yeah, making, oh, obviously, obviously. Yeah, it's making it hard for you to get in when you try. Oh, it's a fucking effort. Why are oh. you even with her? Yeah, uh, it's, it's called marriage. So, so you're telling me that you're with a woman that you don't even really like, and you're not even attracted to her in the first place, but the reason you're staying with her is just because you're married? Yeah, it's called children. Oh. Don't get married. Never have kids. Just be happy the rest of your life. Would you say you're enjoying your life? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good concept. You know what I think you need? Drugs. <laughs> really just... hard drugs. Yeah, but not the kind of like drugs. Opioids. Listen. Opioids. Benzos, listen. Benzos, listen. Benzos, listen. Listen. Oh, listen. No, no, listen. No, no, listen. No. Listen. Listen. Please listen. Because I'm a bit of an expert in a lot of things. I'm, I'm sure you are. And what I think you need is you need the best drug of all. Casual Have you sex. ever heard of a game called League of Legends? No, no, no. You don't need League of, League, League of Legends. You need casual sex. So, so you think that casually cheating on your wife is going to make you feel better? Yeah, significantly. <laughs> Have you ever tried telling her that you're not attracted to her? Several times. Daily. <laughs> and what did she like, say? Well, every time I say, don't touch me, it's like, oh, but why not? Like, it's like, because you're sweaty and clammy. Have you ever tried telling her that you think she's a rolling meatball? <sighs> Hasn't helped. Well, listen, I wish you all the best. So, you got a partner? I do. No, oh, is it Harley Quinn? <laughs> it is, like, actually. I, like, I, I'm really expecting Harley Quinn to come in here. No, she's she's uh, getting her beauty sleep right now. Ah, uh, okay, 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 yeah, all right. You just, like, finished beating your mom with that costume? Beating my mom. Do I look like the kind of guy that beats his mom? Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't really yeah. argue with you on that one, can I now? <laughs> Not dressed like this! <laughs> yeah, you definitely beat your mom. <laughs> I'll have you know that I don't, actually. I love my mother. Loved her so much you hit her with the right hook and said I love you, right? You know, it, it sounds to me like you're the one that actually fantasizes a little too much about beating his mother, aren't you? Oh, man, you just look like if your mom asked you, like, Hey, honey, you want some chicken no, nuggets? Like, hey, you, like, shut up, bitch! You want to sit here and stereotype? I can, too. Mama, where's the cow zone? And then it's not ready, so you, what, start beating her? Wow, man, you need you need some fucking help. Oh, I need help. So now when the shoe's on the other foot, now I'm the one that needs help. <laughs> it's important to note that I am half Italian, so I can make jokes like that. <laughs> but 
the juicer. My god. Mama, where's a cow? So. <sighs> what are you guys doing in your car on Halloween night? We're picking up little picking kids. Up little kid, man. Picking up little kids, huh? We're gonna snatch them in them. We're gonna have fun <laughs> with them. You're gonna what?